Hey coders, so today we are going to learn a new language which is HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And this language is used for making websites. You have been seeing many websites like Amazon, Flipkart, Pinterest and YouTube itself. So now why do we use HTML and how can we use it to make such good websites? Okay. So the basic code, which is now the basic tag, which is used in HTML is the HTML tag itself. It tells that the web page has been using HTML, HTML language. Now, apart from the extension .html, which I have been using here, we are using this tag. Now we know that for identifying that uh, we have been uh, that we have write HTML, we also need to identify this. Now you have been seeing in websites when you right click on the website. Okay, let me show you. When you right click on any website on any random XYZ website, you see this view page source option, right? And in that view page source option something like this opens see now there is nothing only the HTML tag which I have but over there there is a option see there is an option uh, like you can see many things you can see doc type HTML then head body then meta tags number of tags all right but we are going to learn it Okay, we are going to learn how to write such tags, but see, that is a very advanced level of HTML. Okay, so right now we have to write HTML. See, doc type HTML is kind of same. We are going to learn it now. If you want to write doc type HTML, if you write, if, okay, you can write it. It's not wrong, but we are going to start with HTML. See, HTML is also not wrong, and doc type HTML is also not wrong. So that's your fish that one have you have to write but see in professional websites we usually use html tag all right so now html now under this html tag we have to write head all right now what is now why is head used for so basically our head is used to like uh it, it gives information about our web page like I can write I can write all the meta tags under head tag as I told you when we see the view page source option we get to know that that meta tags are used now that meta tags and that extra information about my website is being stored in head now for example if you are aware of CSS so for connecting CSS we use a style tag and that style tag is stored under head we can store it anywhere but it is like stored in head it's uh, like it's a normal default way to write uh, to like to connect our style page now don't be confused css is a different language but it's used to design our web page all right so we are going to learn that language also so first let's focus on html all right. so now first is our head tag right so we are going to use this head tag now as i said for storing an information and the main information is the name the title of our web page over here now now index.html is written but as soon as i write the title it will be changed let me show you how um for say First of all, I will write title and then let me write the title as my first web page. Now, if I will write my title as my first web page and then central plus s, then what will happen? See, you have seen a change. That's my first web page. So you can also write website. That's upon you. All right. So let me write web. Right. All right. Now, as you know, as you will change it, the name will also change over here. Okay. Now, I hope that you are clear with this head.
title all right see these are the basic tags like html then head then title body these tags are seriously very important now what's body let's let's talk about it now here comes a body see body tag now basically this body tag is used to store the content all the content which is stored on our website is being right here. all right we are coding it over here now what do i mean by content any idea content means all the text all the images all the links everything on a website is being shown here and and anything which is shown here is written in you can guess body so now you can see this part where my cursor is the whitish part it is the body of a web page okay this is the tab bar where title comes and then here is the body where all the contents appear okay so body let me uh, let me write uh this uh i can write that this is my uh this is my first web page all right i can write this is my first website i can okay now now as soon as i click central plus s what will happen yes the text will appear and then comes the h1 h2 then all that tags all right so i will i will show you what they do Okay, I will show you. See, first of all, also HR. Also, I will I will tell you what these tags are. Wait a minute. First of all, let me copy all these tags. H one, H two, H three, H six. Now, why have I done this? See, now what will I do is I will quickly change all these names. H four, H five, and H six. See, there are um like there are six heading tags, six heading levels. Okay, there are six heading levels, uh, according to their size. Now, how? See, um, wait a minute. Okay, yeah. So it is on the basis of their. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Okay, yeah. So it is. It is on the basis of their. Uh, I can say this. Of their size, of the the of their font size. All right. So now let me add a font. Uh, let me add. Text, text, text to every, uh, to all these tags. All right, wait a minute. Now H two, H three, H four, H five, and then H six. Now you will see the difference over here. So you can see that H one is the highest, then H two, H three, H four, H five, H six. All right. And then also you can see HR. Now HR does the function of this adding a line to our web page. All right. Now adding line to our web page is the work of HR. So HR full form is horizontal rule. All right. Its full name is like I can say it is horizontal rule. Okay. So. now comes paragraph tag now see paragraph tag is used for writing paragraphs in html all right p now uh, you can guess it is p right uh, it is p so p p tag stands for paragraph and now let me randomly spam over here so that a paragraph is formed because see you can also take paragraphs from lorem ipsum website see already you can randomly spam see i'm just taking 
what is this so that's why I'm doing this otherwise you can simply do that okay I'm randomly spamming all the letters which I can see in my keyboard all right you can take from Lauren Lipsim I'm not uh, I'm not saying that you can you always have to spam or if you want to write some paragraphs and you can use HD this P tag paragraph tag all right okay now you can see a paragraph has been formed there. now if what if I want to break a line from here I want this I want this to appear on the next line. See, I want this from here to be appeared on the next line. So what will I do? So there is a tag in HTML. There is a tag BR in HTML. And this BR stands for break rule, break line. Okay, so see, as soon as I write, as soon as I code this BR, this much move to the next line. I can do the same for for say this n gap to br then the same will happen it will move to a new line and see now that's what happens okay now we can also like add color to our web page now how we can add color to our web page see now it looks so odd you know everything is white white so i can write the color as bg then with no gaps please keep in mind the uh, the spelling of color and with no gaps so bg color is equal to um, for say uh kyan so kyan yeah so kyan tantara so the color has been changed so you can see that now we can also change the size of our horizontal rule if you want we just have to uh, you know add size so so you have to add size then i can do size as five pixels okay now it will change the widthness of the rule right we can also change the color See, we can also change the color for say as white, okay? Oops, see, I'm sorry. So I can change the color as white. Now what will happen? The rule of the color, the color will change of the rule. Okay, now also I can change the width. Now how? With the same width tag. Um, For say 30%. Yeah. So you can also write it in pixels okay in pixels also and in percent also so see 30 percent has been changed now also alignment now how alignment just write the tag align as um left okay left now what will happen it's align will change to this now you can write so that's your homework you have to do these changes to all of these edge tags okay all of these heading tags and also you have to give color to paragraph tag and you know how to give color now okay let's see who will make the greatest website i hope that you have understood all these thank you okay so now there is one more tag which is very interesting so let's just uh, let's have a look on that topic okay it is mark you tag now you might be wondering that what is mark you tag okay uh, so see this mark you tag um, now this mark you tag stands for uh, like uh, you see in many websites the text floats from like 
I, I will show you. Wait a minute. Let me write my site. Okay. My site. So. So you can see this text over here. This text. See what ha what is happening. So that's what mark you do. Okay. So now we can also change the color of the same. So our homework is to change the color and size of the uh, to change the size and color of the HR tag and change the color of paragraph and mark you as well as H tags. So let's see who will make the most beautiful website. So that's all for today, guys.